here I am, sitting at a little kid's table, hoping I'm in focus. You might be asking, why are you sitting at a little kid's table? This is my son's computer. We are going to test this out. A drum pad, digital drum pad. I uh, got this for him for Christmas, and I tested it out. It's about two weeks before Christmas. You're probably watching this months from now. Um, I actually already did open this just to see if it worked on its own, but it's supposed to have MIDI capability, so I'm hoping to be able to plug it in and just get it working with hydrogen or LMMS. So, real simple, it rolls up so you can take it with you, and there's a power switch, and some drumsticks, and... My son wanted a real drum kit. No way I'm buying him that. This, he can put headphones on and uh, play all he wants. It has different drum kits. Headphones, you can plug an MP3 player in if you want to play along with it. And as I said, it also has um, a USB connection for MIDI. Should, I mean, it's just a MIDI connection, right? So I should be able to plug it in and it should just work out of the box. MIDI's pretty simple. It's been around forever, it's pretty standard, but I have in the past come across one or two MIDI devices that don't work out of the box. If it doesn't work out of the box, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, not, uh, I'm not going to mess with a MIDI device that doesn't work because MIDI devices should just work. I mean, they've been around for 40 years. So let's go ahead, plug this in and see if it works. So again, that's one built-in drum kit and there's other ones. Oh, I hit the click button, stop. So different sounds coming out of the speakers here. It is battery powered, charged through USB, uh, but now I have it hooked up and I've opened up Hydrogen running uh, Debian SID here. My son runs Debian SID with i3 window manager, just like I do. Uh, and my question is, once we get this set up, am I still gonna hear this? Is it gonna know it's hooked to MIDI? Or am I gonna have to lower the volume on this? But let's see. Sorry, now I know there's a lot of glare here, but in Hydrogen, if you have uh, no sound coming out when you hit the pads, nothing's activating. Hit control, or no, alt P. Brings up your preferences, go to the MIDI tab, and then under input, click there. For this particular device, it's just called USB MIDI 1. So I'm gonna select that. And again, uh, this device, and I'll click OK and OK. Um, this device, it, there's like a hundred different variations of the same thing on Amazon, probably made at the same factory, sold under different names. So I've selected this MIDI device, let's see what happens. So that was a little bit of my concern. So it's still playing its sound, but also playing there. So you can just record notes here, but if we want to use the drum kit that's on here, uh, let's see, I'm going to lower the volume all the way down. So the drums, the sound is coming out of here now, so I can use any drum kit or make my own drum kit on the computer. It sounds, okay, that time, the sustain, there you go. Sometimes it's holding it and sometimes it's not. There is a sustain pedal and a kicker pedal. I thought maybe the sustain pedal would help alleviate that. So, it's working, but we have an issue. Again, it should sound like, like that. It's not holding the note. Uh, so, I think, what I want to do in the side panel here is the sustain's already up, but I want to turn up the release, I think will help. Uh, so I need to figure out which instrument goes to which pad. So what I'm going to do first, and again, I'm sorry about all the glare, I'm going to hit record and then play, and then I'll hit a pad on the drum pad and see where it's recorded to. So I'm recording, you can see it going across the timeline there. Whoops, I put a note down. And I'm going to hit one of the pads here. There we go. So that's uh, tom number two. So tom tom drum number two. So with that selected, I'm going to come over here to the controls for tom number two. I'm going to turn up the release. I'm going to stop recording for right now. And good. Uh, let's try another one. So I'm going to click record, play. I'm going to hit another. Okay. So that's splash. And actually, it's nice. It actually automatically takes me there. I can turn up the release on that. Turn that off. And now, let's stop recording. So I'll have to do that for each instrument, but I should be able to. Uh, do that for each instrument and save it for my son. And then my plan is to uh, just have it so he has a command called drums and when he types it in, it opens up hydrogen with that drum kit. Uh, and of course he can learn how to adjust them himself. So, 
Uh, again, this is just a quick look at that. Again, this drum set, uh, if you go on Amazon and just try, type in drum pads, there's a bunch of them that look just like this one. Some that are slightly different, but I'm assuming they're probably all made at the same place. And um, this one particular one says Sunart, I guess is the name of the company. But I'm sure they all work the same. And yeah, uh, so as many devices detected out of the box, the only thing I had to do was uh, turn up that release so that it would hold the note. See, like, that one I haven't done yet. So, sorry about the quality of this video, all the glare on the screen. This is not my regular setup, but I figured I was going to test it out, and you guys might be curious about it too. I'm fairly confident that most MIDI devices are going to work out of the box, but you never know, especially when you're... Actually, cheaper stuff tends to work out of the box better. It's when you get to the more expensive stuff, they try to make it restrictive, so you have to use their software, which you really don't want in an instrument. You want to use your software. So usually MIDI devices are pretty good. And, you know, this was like... um. $50, $60 for, for this drum set, which I think is going to be, he's going to love. Uh, it comes with the pad, which can roll up and take you take with you. It's got a battery pack, built-in speakers. It has got comes with headphones, little cheap little headphones. Uh, the USB cable, that's the word I'm looking for. Two wooden drumsticks, a sustain pedal, and a kicker pedal, so you can even... I think this is making more noise than the computer is, but it's playing the kicker sound. And uh, again, it has a, a few different drum kits built in, a click track, a few click tracks, a play and stop for that, a demo mode. I don't know what special does. I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> uh, volume buttons, which seem backwards. This is plus and this is minus. You would think they'd be the other way around. And on the back here, again, you, let's, turn, let's turn that off. We've got um, the uh, input for the pedals, for your headphones. You can plug in an MP3 player so you can, I assume, play something to play along with, and your USB port, which charges the built-in batteries uh, and also connects it to your computer for MIDI usage. Obviously, it's a cheap little thing, but even a good musician can make good music out of cheap little things like this. Uh, so, for my son, definitely cheaper than a full drum set and a lot quieter for me since he can wear headphones. It's great that it doesn't just play out of this, but can be plugged into a computer, which expands it. He can record the notes and change the drum kits later if he wants. So, yeah. If you're curious, it works.